Hey guys, hey Chelsea Generation, hey beautiful people of the Most High God, how are you guys doing on this Friday evening? It's Friday evening guys, yes, it's Friday evening and the weekend is here. Thank you Lord, the weekend is here, yes. Um, it's been a great day for me. Um, I had a lot of things to do today, but it was not really like overwhelming. Sometimes you have a lot of things to do more than other days. This day pretty much glided through. It was just like a, a glide through this day. How was you day, your days? Um, I hope and pray that you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day today. I hope everything went well for you today. Um, yeah, I, it was, it was a really good day today. Um, you know, when you when we learn how to not, you know, let work get too much, you know, overwhelming, then we find that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot less pressure, a lot less pressure. But if it is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome to my all of my beautiful, beautiful subscribers. Let me give you guys a hug. Mm -hmm. That's a hug from me to you. I love you guys. You know I love you, and I appreciate you so much. If that is the type of content that you enjoy, hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Chosen Generation family of the Most High God. We love to have you as a part of this growing kingdom family. Amen. Guys, you know, I was praying and I was asking God, I said, God, you know, what is it that you, you know, you want, to, want me to say to your people? And he began to say premeditation, you know, premeditating sin. And I said, well, I spoke about that before. And he said, speak about it again. So I have to be obedient. And so the Holy Spirit is saying that we must be careful that we are not premeditating sin. That we are not saying, okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go here. Uh, and I'm going to uh, deceive. In other words, you're being deceitful. I'm going to deceive and act like, you know, I forgot something and then I'm going to go back and I'm going, I'm just, in general, I'm just saying, you know, I forgot something and then I'm going to tell them, uh, let me give an example. For example, if you go to work and you say, you know what, um, I'm running late because X, Y, Z, I forgot something at home. And then you turn around and you say, you know, I'm going to just going to use this excuse just so I can be excused, you know, or so it doesn't look so bad. But God is saying that we don't want to make up lies because that's what it is. Make up lies. And it, it, you know, it, it, let me say this. The, being, it, it could be that you really, really are in a tight spot. But God is saying, the Holy Spirit is saying, do not, even if you're in a tight spot, always be honest, always be authentic. Never make up stuff just to make it look good for you for that moment. You know, don't do that because he's saying that he sees and he's watching and he does not approve of that. Hebrews, I believe Paul was talking about Hebrews 10 and 26. He's talking about also that we about premeditating sin. And we want to make sure that we are not uh, just living this life and just going through this life and just doing anything, uh, half, you know, haphazardly. You know, another thing is, you know, a lot of times people... Of course, with taxes, you know how people do. Okay, let me claim this one. Let me claim that one. Let me claim your children. Let me do. God is saying, stop that. Tax season is coming up pretty soon. The Holy Spirit is saying, do not claim if you are, have not raised those children. If you have not, if they have not lived in your household. The Holy Spirit is saying, do not claim who you do not need to be claiming. I will supply your needs. I will supply your needs, saith the Lord. I will supply your needs, saith the Lord. If you've been doing it in the past and you got away with it, the Holy Spirit is saying, stop it. Because I will not bless your 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 life. I will not bless your life. The things you will not be blessed to the fullest. You may think you're being blessed, but you are not being blessed. Because you are cursing yourself when you do these things and you know that it's not of God. And you know that. God is not in it, you know, um, you know, God is not in it. I was getting my nails done a couple weeks ago and, um, the lady had dropped 
uh, um, some money on the floor. Guess what? Nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. And the Holy Spirit, I, I, knew, I knew, I already knew that it was a test. I already knew. And nobody saw it. I picked it up and immediately I heard the enemy say, didn't nobody see it. I said, I didn't even say, I didn't say anything. He said that to my, my thought. He said, nobody saw it. I took the money and I said, excuse me, ma'am, you dropped this. And she said, oh, thank you. I said, sure. See, we have to live by integrity. We have to be, we have to live by not just integrity, by, by, by the word of God. We have to make sure that we are doing things that are pleasing in God's sight. And also make it a self thing. You know, my mom used to always say, make it a self thing. Would you want someone to do that to you if you drop something? Would you want someone to, uh, you know, steal from you? You know, make it a self thing. You know, we have to do things in this life the way we want to be treated. If we want someone to do good things for us, we have to treat people the same way. We have to live not only, like I said, by integrity, but as well as, you know, work with integrity you know, I see so many people that just do not work with integrity. You know, anything, they just basically just don't care about how they work. You know, just have, have, have you know, haphazardly really working, you know, not caring how they do their job, you know. Um, and I can't even imagine how their, long, their lifestyle is at home. You know, if you come to work and you're just haphazardly coming to work and you're basically not giving your best and you know that that's what God wants us to do. I can't even imagine, you know, how your, your your home life is because it's probably all, all of it already because you're 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 just not even able to focus when you're at work, you know. But I thank God because it it takes time, you know. I'm, I'm saying, of course, I'm oh, I'm an older person, but I'm saying people that are even younger. I've seen people work. I'm like, wow, you're only in your 20s and you work like that. And you were, you were such a great, great worker because some people just have it in them to work with. And they have that integrity. They, they care about what they do. They care about how they, they, they take care of things, how, how, you know, they're looked at as they're working, you know, and I think it's great, you know, and the same thing goes for everyday life. When we're doing things, we want to make sure that we are doing things that are pleasing to God, that are pleasing in his sight, that we are just not walking through life, just doing any kind of thing, treating people any kind of way. You know, um, you know, sometimes people have people that are, um, handicapped in their family, people that are not able to know what's going on, you know, and they abuse them. You know, God is saying he's going to repay, you know, any type of abuse. You know, someone that is, is <clears throat> excuse me, not able to maybe even count. You know, some people have, a, you know, didn't finish school and maybe not even been able to really count, can't really read good, you know, and people, you know, uh, take advantage of them, live with them and take advantage of them. You know, God is saying, stop it, stop it, stop it. If you're taking advantage of people and you know that you're taking advantage of people and you still feel like God is going to bless your life, you're fooling yourself. You are actually fooling yourself and you feel like, oh no, I've been blessed here and there. That's not really not nothing. Because guess what? God sits high and he looks low and he's repaying you for everything. Not just you, me, everybody. We all get paid back for anything that we do in this life. You know, and when I'm preaching to you, I'm, th I'm talking to you. I'm telling you, I'm talking to myself because guess what? It's for all of us. This is what God is saying to all of us, you know, that we must take heed. We must not sit up here and think that we're going to receive anything from God. Truly, truly. And, and, and just do people any kind of way and live life any kind of way, you know, straddle the fence, you know premeditate sin oh I'm going to see my boo I'm going to see my boo you know and then I know you know I'm going to ask God to forgive me because I know you know I know it ain't right but I'm going to go see my boo mm -mm. you know 
that you should not be out here doing what you're doing and God is saying stop it you know sometimes God gives us messages that are bless 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 and this message is more like uh, correction and it's okay it's okay because he loves us and he corrects us and he wants us to be right. He wants us to live right. He wants us to, you know, make sure that our lives are clean. He, you know, the Bible talks about when we stand before him, you know, he will say if we're not, if we're not really, um, we, we, if we have not lived a life that he is pleasing in his sight, depart from me. You know, I knew you not. And we want to make sure that, you know, if you don't keep anything else in your mind, keep that in your mind that. We have to stand before God one day and that you're not getting away. I'm not getting away. We're not getting away with anything that we do on this earth. We may think, oh, you know, you know, it's okay. You know, we, I've been doing it for this long. No, enough is enough. God is saying, stop it. Whatever it is, any type of premeditating, saying you're going to do this and yada, yada, yada. God is saying, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I love you guys. I truly, truly do. Be encouraged. Know that God is with you. I want to have a quick word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each and every one of the chosen generation family of the Most High God. Father, I thank you for my family. I thank you for, hallelujah, the viewers. I thank you, Father God, because I know that you are speaking on this message. You are saying for us not to premeditate in any kind of way in this life, Father. And I thank you for giving us the strength to know how to say no and resist the devil. You said he will flee from us. Father, let us resist him in every way that he tries to come against us and make us do things against your will. We thank you, Father, because we know, hallelujah, that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Hallelujah. Encourage each and every one under the sound of my voice to stay strong, to stay in your word. Hallelujah. To stay prayed up in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for meeting their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I love you guys. I truly do. Be encouraged. If you have enjoyed this message, please hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We love to have you as a part of the chosen generation family of the most high God. I love you guys and I will talk to you real soon. Be encouraged and remember you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I'll talk to you real soon.